Vivian, how about the start of the game? You made 12 of your first 16 shots. It seemed like they were, they were all layups. Was there a concentrated effort to get to the basket more and get some easy shots? We always want to get to the basket to get easy shots. And um, we were able to push it, and it was happening this time. So, yeah, that's we're always trying to make that concentrated effort. If you notice, we're going to either attack it off the baseline, but I thought that we were looking up, uh, looking to score a lot quicker in transition. It seems like you shook up the starting lineup a little bit tonight. Um, was that trying to get a little uh, different look? Or? Well, I think if, if you think about it, if you, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, probably f for the last eight or nine games, we've played Rachel for the first two or three minutes, and then we've taken her out. And uh, then we put Ariel in, or it could be Chris. But, but the idea is to not let her pick up a foul, get in there and get a feel for what's going on, and then uh, you know basically buy some minutes so that she can play and play in, in an effective way. Um, and you know it, it doesn't matter. I mean, it might happen again. It could. You know, uh, Ariel was fine. She did what she needed to do, and uh, and it allowed uh, Rachel then to be able to freely attack on the offensive side of it and not worry about picking up fouls uh, because she didn't have any and she knew that, you know, we were a good eight minutes into the game and, and it was fine. So, I mean, between the three posts, I think that they respect each other and work hard enough with each other. They just know that when they have an opportunity, they're going to get in there and get things done. We were just saying before we left out, it, it, I don't even know if uh, Chris to Evans, it looks like she didn't get any rebounds, but see, here's what she's doing. If you look at Gory when she was in, when Krista was in, Krista is. Krista allowed the other guards to get that because she's burying, basically burying the post under the rim. So we recognize what each person can do, and uh, and that's what Krista was <coughs> doing to allow the other people to to get it done. So. Vivian, when you look at Naja's uh, stat line, we're used to the double double at this point, but. Seven assists and five steals, too. What kind of performance was that? Mm, that was almost a triple double. Mm, that was interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought that, um, I mean, she was trying to push the ball. I think that that comes with, um, I, I said to you before that uh, Benaja is an incredible athlete. That's, that's, I mean, just phenomenal in so many respects rebounding, passing, shooting, inside, outside. I mean, what else can you ask from her? Uh, but, um, and she plays hard. She plays extremely hard. I didn't know that. It's too bad. Of course, there weren't any more minutes in the game. She played 39, so what can you say? You know, what can you say? What, uh, what happened with that? You had the 19-point lead, and then they tied the game, and it seemed like almost like that was a wake-up call for you guys because as soon as they took the lead, that's you guys ripped off seven straight points. What happened there? Um, I think we had – we. We, we kind of got comfortable a little. <clears throat> so it was just a matter of, yes, it was a wake-up call. It was just a matter of us, you know, it's crunch time. Like, we got to get going. We can't allow for them to come back and be in the game because we all know what happens, you know. You get comfortable and they come back scoring. So we just had to, you know, coach talk to us. We had to come out and fight and do what we had to do. Actually, at about that mark, I think it's around 9.30, you had, I think, back-to-back -back steals. First one, you dished off the Tyler for uh, two points and then the next time it went inside, and I think Rachel ended up at the free throw line. Did you see something at that point, or was it just like enough of this, you're going to go after the ball? What do you mean? Did I see something like what? Did you what? see something that, that Michigan was doing that you thought you could take advantage of? Or? No, it was just, um, you know, I just, I'm an intense player, and I, I just know that, like, there are certain things, different moments where we need certain stuff, and we needed the ball. So that's what I went out and tried to do. Like, we got the ball, and we capitalized on it. But now as you talked about how your thumb was feeling Sunday after Iowa, and you said it was getting closer to 100%. You look at tonight's performance, 20 points, 10 rebounds, uh, 7 assists. How are you feeling tonight, and how do you feel about your performance tonight? Um, my thumb is it's doing a lot better than it um, initially was. It's just, um, you know, we're just keeping doing, we're continuing to do treatment and everything. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, just one, it's just really, it gets sore after it gets hit. You know, so, but it's it's definitely a lot better. Um, I mean, I'm pretty happy with my performance. We came out with the W, so that's good. Questions? 
Rachel, did you feel like it was a good advantage that Coach was talking about coming off the bench the way you did today? <clears throat> yeah, it made me feel more relaxed, so I could just calm down a little. So I'm good with that. So I'm, I'm happy about the decision she made. Great how good was the offense blowing? Like I said, you guys made 12 of your first 16 shots. You guys were getting a lot of easy badges. How good was the offense blowing in that first 10 minutes of the game? Um, it was going really good. I think the whole team was relaxed. We we saw each other and we just moved the ball, so it was just good. In that point. I think one of you said um, that we sputtered a bit, right? Uh, and and that would that is to be expected, you know, as we attempt to try to put this team together mm -hmm. until um, and and grow. For example, Sharita Parker played more minutes, right? Uh, because we needed to, to develop another player, and we're trying to develop everybody. And the idea is that soon uh, we'll have, uh, you know, Cynthia, Natalie, and uh, Alex develop too, to the point where they're able to share the time in these kinds of game, in these kind of games. Um, but it, but we need that that kind of help because um, it's killing us. For example, we won't practice tomorrow. We didn't practice yesterday. Um, and the reason for that is because, and that's not like me, but we can't afford to because they're spending too many minutes on the floor to be able to have the life in their legs to be able to play. So uh, we're counting on them to do some shooting. Uh, we know that they will. And then right now, basically 95% of everything that we're going to do is put in. So it's just a matter of executing that, uh, trying to get healthy. And um, and when Brianna comes, um, you know, hopefully we got Bri and everybody else, and we can join forces and do it right. And what's been your impression as Parker these last two games? She's played quite a bit of minutes for a freshman. No, she's she's coming along really well. She's she has a lot of enthusiasm, and that's key for us. She brings a lot of energy, and that's what we always need. We always need people to bring energy, and she just she just goes hard. She attacks. She looks to do different things for us, and that's what we need. Coach, with uh, Brianna Kanji out uh, indefinitely, you can expect uh, Sharita to take on a bigger role. But when Brianna does eventually come back, where is Sharita going to fit into the rotation? Um, when Bree comes back and she's right, um, then Bree will step in where she left off. There's no question about that because the vision that Bree has and the, the pace that she can move it, it, it just it, we're a different team. You know, uh, and I'm extremely pleased with Essie. I mean, because, and she's probably the, along with Benaja, they're probably the two most versatile players on the floor. Uh, but she, Essie had gotten to the point where she was playing a four. So now, and, and you know, the first couple of years she was playing the one. So all of a sudden, you know, this entire year she was playing um, the four. And all of a sudden we say, okay, we got, we have to have you playing the one because until Sharita has a lot more experience, she won't be the person that's running a point. She's been trained and she's working on that all the time. But in these crucial games, no, that's not happening. Essie's going to make the decision. Time, situation, score, recognizing the defenses, whether in zone or in men, is a bit much for Sharita now. But it was good to see Essie push the tempo uh, and also to be settled in, in what she's doing. She, she, I was really pleased. Uh, with her, but we will be extremely happy when Brianna Candy can return because she's a much bigger guard. She has been shooting the ball well, and it allows everybody, I think, to get a few more minutes rest. And um, how soon she's going to come back, I, I don't know. It's just a significant bone bruise that kind of nobody can see. And she says she feels good, but the medical people don't want her on at this particular point. So I guess we just go along with it and, until we can get better. Coach. After last Sunday's game, we talked about some of the chemistry issues and just being frustrated with the way things were. Uh, you know, coming out, running out to an early lead and holding off you know, a surge by Michigan. How are you feeling about the team? Do you feel like that improvement you saw last Sunday is continuing forward? Yeah, 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 there's no question about that. Uh, we're, we're asking um, the team to look for each other, let it flow, trust each other. Um, you know, and, and to continue to gain. A lot of teams will lose players or have players lost to injury, but um, I, we can do one of two things. We can look at it as a, as a setback or a setup, and um, and we choose to look at it as a you know a, a setup that is an opportunity for us to play the great teams, uh, and that you know uh, these 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 hiccups that we've had, uh, we know the reason for that. And we don't choose to make that an excuse. We want to get better. And um, you know, when all things are said and done, 
uh, that we were able to deliver and do the things that, that we feel like we're capable of. Uh, I was so excited at the beginning of the year and still am. Uh, it's been frustrating at times, um, you know, with, with, with the, the injuries that have occurred because it hasn't allowed us to play together every day to develop a rhythm um, that, that, that's ours yet. But um, hopefully that all happen then and, and we'll be good and healthy going down the road. There didn't seem to be any panic when they made their run. I mean, they Pardon tied. me? There didn't seem to be any panic by you guys when they made their run to tie it to one. No, I, I, I didn't panic, but what I was doing is I, I didn't. I wanted them, our team, to be aware. Do you realize that we were within three? We had a big, whatever, 27 to 40 lead, and then all of a sudden, bang, bang, and it's because of foolish things. We didn't get back. We were, we, we were. Like when I said, just to relax, and they were coming, throwing the ball the length of the floor, um, and getting those layups. You know, it, it, it wasn't because of execution; it was because we relaxed in our pickup, you know, and our, our own intensity. And that can't, you know, be something that's there. But I do think that when they looked up and recognized, oh, hey, we've got to step it up, that we began to see each person, you know, bear down and and just, you know, deny. Uh, the players that we needed to deny and making sure that we blocked out and played the defense the way that we 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 had to and so hopefully that'll be a good lesson for us and um we're probably much more alert when we go away than we are here for some reason we may have thought that you know crowds <coughs> must somehow pull us through but it is what it is we won and uh hopefully we can rem remember that and um and carry it forward from this point on any other questions Go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to say that uh, Thompson hit quick, uh, two quick threes and then um, he immediately called a timeout rather than letting the team try to play through. But um, I just wanted to know what, the, what were the adjustments that uh, you made to try to stop him from shooting? Who had Thompson? <coughs> who was playing there? Well, you know what? Let me, let me tell you what it is. I don't know. Who was it, Tana? Yeah, uh, yeah, she was letting that happen to, to tonight. She she played well, but but she was letting that girl get loose. We, we were trying to, f to determine why that was happening because she was coming from the weak side of the floor. So in, 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 instead of as she's coming up, instead of us meeting her head on, we were trailing her. And when that tr or 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 any way you shake it, they were able to hit threes when we weren't in their face. And uh, we just. Uh, made sure that on the weak side that we met them, that we were up much closer than what we would normally be. And uh, to remind the team that we've been having some problems over the years defending the three. Uh, Michigan is a, a well-coached team. I mean, they, I'm not surprised that they beat Michigan State. They did, did a great job. But we called the timeout because two, two ways that they were going to score. There was three, and that was, those were those drives. Going to the free throw line, they're an excellent free throw shooting team. So if we, as a team, promise that we're going to defend the three, we've got to be out there. So let's just remember that, that that's all that was, because we continue to stay man, right? Yeah, we do. So nothing other than to call everybody in check to make sure that we were getting over top of those screens. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.